Hello there, my name is Lockley, and today I'm going to show you how to make this sheep farm right here. So this will never run out of shears due to this system here, and this is overall a really good sheep farm. So let me show you how to make it. Items that you'll need for the tutorial, so 11 glass, 8 grass blocks, 7 blocks of your choice, 4 torches, 2 redstone dust, 2 redstone comparators, 2 hoppers, 1 redstone torch, an observer, a dispenser, a crafter, a dropper, a barrel, 1 minecart with a hopper, and 1 rail. Let's get into this tutorial. So we're going to start off with a collection system, so a barrel here with a hopper behind it, and then you want to come up a couple blocks and place a grass block there. And then if you come down here and place a rail here with a minecart hopper there, you can break this rail and then come on top with a normal piston and a, oh, not like that. A normal piston and a redstone block just like that. As you can see this minecart hopper is inside of this block, so if I throw anything on top of this block, it will go into this barrel. So now that we've done that, we can work on the rest of the farm. So if you want to come over to this grass block and place more grass blocks here, leaving only the one that's around the back, as we need to place a observer here with a block and then redstone dust and a dispenser. And now you can place the glass. So we're gonna do three blocks here with one block on top two blocks here, three more blocks here with one on top, and then one on top of this dispenser. And then we want torches on top of these four glass blocks as this will help the grass spread quicker. So you want to come to the back uh, dispenser here and fill it with shears. Now these will eventually run out, obviously it will take a while, but they will run out eventually so you may need to replace these or something I'll show you in a minute will be able to replace them for you and help this last longer. And now finally it's time for the sheep. So if I were to place about five or six sheep in here, it doesn't matter, you can do one to whatever the max is, there's probably loads. But I normally do six, like that. So these will start eating the grass and as you can see one's already done it and the wool will start going into this barrel. Now if you don't ever want the shears to run out, what you're going to need to do is break these two blocks here and then place a solid block there with another solid block here and here. And then you want a dropper here and you want to fill this with non-stackable items. For the sake of this video I'm going to use shears but you can use any item that doesn't stack past one. And then you can take a comparator out part of this side and a comparator out part of this side. So what will happen is this comparator will stay on when this is full, but if one is removed, you can see it turns off. So this is what we will be using to notify the crafter that it's empty and it needs refilling. And place a hopper on top of this dispenser with a crafter looking into this hopper. And then you want a block here and here with a redstone torch here and redstone dust here and then finally you want a block on top of this redstone torch and now if you come into the crafter you can fill all the slots except these two and then fill these slots with iron and this will craft shears whenever one's empty so let me just for example take one out so that it looks like one is broken it has immediately been refilled and none of the other system interacts with this uh, and dispenses one when it's not needed. If you place a hopper on top of the crafter with a chest or if you link this up to an iron farm, you can then fill this chest with iron and then the crafter will probably never run out unless you've been playing on the world for like years, in which case it's just a case of refilling the chest really. So the sheep have been placed back in and this is the working system. So this will constantly pump out wool uh, day and night with these torches and it will also never run out of shears thank you so much for watching i've been lockley if you found this farm useful make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in a bit goodbye